Good afternoon, everybody. <clears throat> this is training lessons classes. This is Kimi, technique support of Dicky Technology. Welcome to our MA500 training lessons. Today, this afternoon, I'm a guest, a training teacher, who will guide all of us to uh, do a take a full round of the learning about MA500. So let's take a view the four parts of MA500 I arranged for you guys. First part, I will take you on a journey of MA500 introduction. In this part, I divide into <clears throat> the two parts, the features and function, and hardware and construction. In the features and the function, I've introduced you the appearance, uh, the parameters, and configuration. In the hardware construction, I've given you the introduction of you know, the external construction, the internal models and the construction. Okay, let's view the first part, the features and function. Uh, I will give you two pictures, left one is MA500 and right one is MA300. From the name of MA500, it's obviously speaking of an upgrade vision of MA300. <coughs> so I will give you the general concept with MA500 in this part. What are the basic functions, what we usually use in our daily work, and what's the features to help you promote this device to your customers? Of course, I'm going to introduce the hardware of this device. <coughs> okay, um, the parameter and the configuration, MA500, uh, when we talk about MA300, it's, it's, public, it's popular and on sales continuously because of the metal case. So, obviously speaking, MA500 is also with the simple design uh, track on the MA300, based on the MA300. Simple uh, di discipline uh, design with the metal case. But the big difference is with MA500 is uh, with his uh, keyboard. Because the function of keyboard is just the, the password. So MA500 is add password function than MA300. And features, the verification. I'm going to give you the whole concept from the function to features. It's significant to help you promote this device to your customers. So MA500 include the fingerprint, the IF card. IF card include ID card, MiFi card, and also the password function. And number two, MA500 with the middle case and the standard uh, principle IP65. Uh, let's view the the software. The MA500 use Access 3.5 software. Uh, it's uh, it's used for the the panel controller. So it's more modern than the MA300. And then from the capacity, MA500 support 3,000 fingerprint. 30,000 RF card, 100,000 attendance logs, and it supports FR 1200 as a slave reader. Of course, the pool SDK is a, is a simple design, beautiful used for the MA500 with the panel controller. It's the same meaning. Okay? So let's compare MA500 with MA300. You will be better understanding with the differences between these two devices. So let's view first. MA500 used the, the new firmware, the same as the panel controller, InBell 116, the InBell firmware. 
and this uses a, a standalone DSDK and the software MA500 uses Access 3.5 software. It belongs to the the Access the panel controller panel controller devices. MA300 uses Access Control 2.0, and from the SDK. Uh, the same firmware with a panel controller I used to wear it made 500 more suitable with access 3.5 and uh, when we talk about the, the capacity you will obviously see the, the twice as much as the MA300 from the fingerprint capacity the the RF card capacity, and password capacity, and transaction capacity. Obviously, the twice as much as the MA300. So it's an advantage of the MA500. Uh, let's view the communi communication. Uh, it's, same, uh, it's almost the same. TCP IP RS485. <coughs> and uh, talk about the the access control interface, both of them can support electric lock, door sensors, exit button, and alarm. Uh, but you need, you need pay attention to the vegan interface. In the MA300, the both of uh, vegan input and output, MA300 support these two uh, protocol. But in MA500, we concern the MF, the vegan input in this function we, we concern. But we support FR 1200. That's the design. That's the design useful. Uh, because we just want you to use FR 1200 as a slave reader to connect with MA500. We don't recommend you to use the ID card reader to as a slave reader. Okay. The next one, next one, the option option function optional function. Uh, you will find the the MiFi card is the optional function. So it means the when you when you make an order to produce the MA five hundred, the default default setting is supposed ID card, not MiFi card. If you want a MiFi card, you should tell our commercial personnel to make this order, to change the model, the settings, okay? <clears throat> Let's go on. The next one, I will introduce the, the hardware construction. The first part, the terminal construction. I also give you the two pictures, left one and the right one. Left one is uh, introduced the, the front side, opposite the the back side from the right one. Okay, from the left, we can from the, we can view from the top to the bottom. In the line, in the top line, you can see the the two LED indicate, the green one, and the red one. When the left one, the green means everything is okay or verify successfully and the red one sometimes will appear a be a red and when you fear to verification or you fear to the some the operation steps it will be red and then the the keyboard the keyboard um, is a new function for the MA500 it's unique. And then the, the card reader. RF card reader embedded in the devices or built in the devices. So you cannot see the model. If you want to change another model, uh, it's better for you. Recommend you to connect, contact with our technical support. However, you don't uh, you'd better don't uh, change it for yourself or place it for yourselves. Okay. 
and then the sense cover. It's also the new uh, design because you will find every almost 99% of our Ziki devices have no this cover to protect the sensor because the MA500 is designed for the, the proof wear, proof wear, proof water, proof, uh, proof modest. <coughs> so, we, so we choose the sensor cover to protect the, the fingerprint sensor, okay? Let's go to the red one. The red one, uh, we take up the, the two pin cable to give you the power. The uh, 12 voltage, voltage power and the magnetic tempo switch is just like the, the tempo uh, in the, our, the other series devices like iClock, iFace, VF multi-bell, like these devices. The same meaning. And then Ethernet. Ethernet will help you to use the TCP IP to connect our software uh, in, the, in the LAN. Okay. And then the 5 pin cable connector. The Wigan Out and IS485. Wigan Out will help you to uh, regard, regard MA500 as the slave reader to connect our uh, panel controller. And IS485 will help you to connect the FR1200 as a slave reader. And MA500 will as the host, so it will not the, the slave, it will be the host. And the last but not least, the 8-pin cable connector includes 2 pins for the lock, 2 pins for the door sensor, also the 2 pins for the alarm, finally 2 pins for the exit button. And this is the external construction. If you have some questions, I will give you the uh, 5 or 10 minutes in the end. You ask me any question you like, okay? So let's view the internal modules. I introduce you the, the most significant component of this device, the cord board. Cord board is uh, it's like our brain uh, to give you the logic com calculation, uh, or install your dates or to give you the completed calculation. We will use the core board. Uh, you can see the, some of the chips. The chips, the chips on the core board include the CPU, the flash, or the RAM chips, and a lot of the RAM and the arrays. A lot of things like this, PC, PCB print core, okay? This is the front side, and this is the, the back side. Because the completed component on the, the core board, so if the core board is damaged, it's hard to figure it out uh, where is the problems. So you, I recommend you don't spend much time to discuss the maintenance in the core board. You can directly find our professional maintenance person to deal with these problems, solve the problems. Okay. The next one, let's view the, the main board. The main board also give you the, the front side and back side. The front side we can view the some lock relay. Maybe like this. A lock relay. Lock relay is to help you to open our the lock. And when you uh, when you punch your card, when you when you swipe your card, when you press your fingerprint, or when you give you uh, the password, it will activate activate the local the lock relay or the alarm relay like this. And this one, the speaker give you the the response for for any any cooperation step and this is bottom battery bottom battery obviously uh, it will help you to uh, go continuously with lock puncture lock 
okay like this <coughs> mm, this this voltage is three so it's useful for the puncture timer clock so if you find your device clock is not it's not puncture uh, it's slower than the the unit the usually so you can use the use the method to change another one another new one or you can use the a test the the voltage if the voltage is less than the 2.5 so you must change another one okay to insist the the puncture time a puncture a clock on this device let's view the this model this model is the a2 a2 is ID card model. This is a standard default configuration by MA500. If you want to choose the MA500 support MiFi card, we will give you the another model, the MiFi model. The B7. B7 is the MiFi model. Mm. You'd better, you'd better don't replace for yourself. Just the same, uh, connect our technical support or the salesperson. Okay. <clears throat> this is the introduction of the A2 or B7. A2 is for the ID card and B7 is for the MiFi card. And also, they will use the antenna. Antenna is help to touch the, the ID card or MiFi card and give you some the signal and the transmit to the, the card model and transmit to the CPU to calculate the other things. Okay. So next time, uh, because some some customers will ask ask me some of the question, they will tell us how to enroll, how to register the fingerprint, the password, or the same the other operation step. Is confused, always confused. So I will spend some time to take a video to help you uh, to know the operation step for the for the common always use the function. The first step is uh, enroll. A new thing, use the fingers, fingerprint. So I will give you, yes, like this step. The first one you will enter the, you will press the star key, the pound key, one, two, three, four. This step will help you to enter, enter the administrator mode. When you enter this mode, then you will choose the the other function you want to choose. If you press one, like this, if you press one, you will enter the a restriction, restriction mode. Then you input your user ID with the end of the pound key. Then punch or press your fingerprint for the three times. It will be a success uh, for the rest registration for the fingerprint. For this user, okay. Let's let's view the video. I enter the administrator mode and press one into the restriction mode. I input my user ID one double zero double nine with the end of the pound key and I punch my fingerprint for the three times for success after operation you will hear a long voice yes and number two let's view the Delete function. Delete the user. Delete the single user. Single user. First, you need to also enter the 
administrator mode by input a star key pound key one two three four and then uh, input two to enter the delete mode then you input the user ID to delete this user so let's view the video I punch my fingerprint to show this is valid after I do this operation the fingerprint is invalid this step is enter the administrator mode I input 2 to enter the delete mode I input my user ID 10099 with the end of the pound key yes is success. Then press your fingerprint as well. It's invalid. It means this this use is deleted. Okay? It's easy to understand, right? So let's view the number three. Enroll a card. Because uh, there are three modification verification, the password, the fingerprint, and the, the card. So let's view how to enroll your card. Also the same step, you need to enter the administrator mode by inputting the star key pound key 1234. Then input 3 to enter the user ID model to enroll the, the card model. Then with the end of the pound key, then you uh, punch your card to finish or accomplish uh, this this registration okay so let's take a video let's read the video yes like I said first step is enter the administrator mode then I input 3 to in enter the enrollment mode I input my user ID with the end of the pound key then I punch my card to finish this uh, registration. Card registration. You see? The verification is valid. It's useful. Right? So let's view the next part. Just like the enroll on card, the enroll on password is just add the, another verification mode. If you finish this step, the user will have the three verification mode the fingerprint the password and the card so first like let's enter the administration mode it's the same by inputting the star key pound key one two three four and then enter the enrollment on the password by inputting the number three so next uh, which users you need to enroll the password for him I, it's a time to input the it's time to input the user ID with the end of the pound key. So next last step is uh, yes this step is is very confused to our customers. Many customers um, fear in this step because they just input the one time for the password but uh, generally speaking the theory is easy and simple because every password in the world must be confirmed twice right so the same with our the devices you can find some the any card when you play the computer games or when you register the bank card any card you must confirm the twice with your password so this is the point, okay? The key point. Let's take a let's view the video. I input the star key pound key one two three four to enter administrator mode, and then I press three to enter the enrollment password. I input my user ID one double zero double nine with the end of the pound key. Then I input my password, one, two, three, four, with the end of the confirm. Then I input the same password again. 
to finish this operation. I do the verification using the password. First, I input my user ID. Then, I input my password. One, two, three, four. It's the end of the panel key. Yes, it's success. So that, this step uh, will help you to set the lock, lock time. It means when you, when you finish the, or when you pass the verification, you use the password, fingerprint, or card. So it will help you to, to open the lock. And how long do this lock open or last? So it means this function will help you to, to set this function set the lock function. It's easy. So I don't for the, the further explanation. So let's view the video. At the same time, you will input the star key, pound key, one, two, three, four, to enter the administrator mode. Then plus uh, four. This is finished, but I will explain the five. Five means five second. So you can uh, you can put any number you like uh, from the the one to ten, and ten is the, the maximum. It's limited for the further further high. Yes, the last one, the maximum number is ten. Okay. Oh, this function is very significant. It will help you to set the verification mode. You can see from the upper right hand corner in this in this picture. Model one, two, three, four, five, six. Password. The ID card, my file card, the fingerprint, and three of them. And both and and something like this so let's view let's view the video it's not difficult i also want to enter the administrator mode by inputting stocky punky one two three four and then input number five and then input the four Voice means uh, fingerprint, password, or the RF card. Three of them can pass the verification. So this time uh, I will input my password. One, two, three, four. This is my password. Yes. Three of three of a verification mode will pass the verific verification. Let's view the next next function. Punch issue card. Uh, this function is not useful. I think it's not useful, but I will tell you. And you can also uh, set this function in the Access three point five software. So in my view, I choose the punch issue card function. Uh, the operation system is also entered the administrator mode first by inputting star key punch key one two three four, and then input number six to enter the punch issue card mode. So when you input your user ID and punch your card. And then it's very it's very important to input the the punch the punch number with the end of the star. So it means if you input the five, it will give you a punch issue card for the the five cards. Yes, let's view the video.
I enter the administrator mode and enter the punch issue card mode. I input my user ID with the end of the punch key. I will punch my card and then input the punch number with the end of the punch key. It means I will give you the five card. My user ID, my card number is the beginning of the of the five card. Okay, let's view let's view the influence. You will find the this is the, this is the result. Because the first first user user number or the user ID is a one double zero double nine. And first card number is like this. Four double one double eight six four. And when I input the five number, it will list the five users one by one. Increase this is uh, the effort. Okay, let's build the next one. Next one. Uh, because uh, every time I will push, I will use the, the star key, pound key, one, two, three, four to help you enter the administrator mode. One, two, three, four is just a password. I use in the, the management managers or the boss. So if the employee know this password is not very good. So if you want to change or replace another one, whatever you like, you can use this function. Modify the system password. Okay, let's view the video firstly, and then I will give you uh, the specific explanation. Okay. This is original or uh, initial password. One, two, three, four. I enter the modification system password mode. This new password is uh, 5678. I will input them again. One is, is finished. I will use a new password. 5678. Yes, it's good. This is not same with uh, the second function. The second function is delete a single person. When you input the user ID, it will be deleted. So this function will help you to delete all the users. It better to use the, the double nine, you will enter the, all the users. So you must be very careful about this function, okay? So let's read the video. I will show you the verification is valid. Enter the administrator mode. And input double nine to finish this function. When I punch, press the fingerprint, it's period, it's period. When I punch my card, it's also invalid. So this is the function. Okay, this is the end of the the all the unusual or the usual or the usual function I give you. So next part, I will discuss some of the basic troubleshooting. So from the, my experience, I intend some of the the problems by our customers. So I will give you some solution. I wish it will help you. Okay. Number one, no reaction on the ID card. So uh, some people or some some employees 
swap their card or punch their card on the sensors, on the card model, close them, but it's, it's no reaction. So in this time, you must, you must check the ID card model or the antenna. But in MA500, the ID card model or the antenna is not easy to dismantle. It's, it's not easy to damage, okay? So if your card or the MiFi card or ID card is no reaction, so please contain our technique support and they will give you the, some suggestions and you must uh, firstly to give you them the serious number and they will find uh, some the, the potential problems maybe appear in the wrong parameter they were willing to do a remote check for you so don't worry about this if the parameter is okay but there is still no reaction on the ID or MiFi card so you can place a new mainboard, a mainboard, yes, mainboard to test. I think it's helpful. Uh, it's 99% will solve these problems. No reaction on ID card, MiFi card, okay? The, the second problem is no reaction on the fingerprint. Yes, if you, if there's no reaction, when you punch your fingerprint, so you can uh, you can contact your customers if or whether whether or not the customers do some the upgrades by themselves, but they don't want to let you know. Okay. Uh, in this function, I will tell you the the truth. Just uh, our fingerprint lessons. We just manage these lessons is to protect protect this finger finger sensor. So uh, I think this is common is common reason for the no reaction on the on the sensor. Just the, the customers do the some upgrade upgrade by themselves. The damages some the the lessons fire. So when you encounter these problems. Also, uh, contact our technical support. Before this, you can you can also change, replace some the sensor connection line or the the finger sensors. If there is also no, no reaction, you can ask our technical support for help. They will uh, give you. They will do a remote check for you to check the lessons fire, is damaged or not. And I think it's helpful for these problems. And number three, no reaction on the keyboard. Yes, I told I told you or said you before. The MA five hundred is a, is added the keyboard than MA three hundred. So uh, when we uh, encounter this problem, no reaction on the keyboard. So how how should we do? So if you find the keyboard is no reaction, if you, if you break you can also ask your customers whether or not they break or change some files. It result the cost the keyboard will no reaction. If you don't change any files, and after you might be able to try a place a keyboard connection line like this. This is connection line of the keyboard. Uh, it must be useful. It must, yes, this must be useful to deal with these problems. So next, can't, you can't enroll your fingerprint. Uh, maybe I think it's more than the 10 customers. Yes, it's no exaggeration. 10 customers, they will explain your MA500 is damaged. And why? They give me the reason. They can't enroll the fingerprint, and they don't want uh, to check some the user menu. They don't want to see the specification of the MA500. They just do themselves, just like you uh, receive your smartphone. You don't check the. You will not check the specification, right? Okay. If you encounter these problems, 
if it's if it ask you your customers to do this do this operation step the correct process is like this the first step is also enter the administrator mode by inputting the star key pound key one two three four and enter the the enrollment the registration mode of the fingerprint by input the number one then you you must input your finger your user ID by end with the end of the pound key so in this step in this time moment you must pay attention to press your fingerprint for the three times and you will see the you will view the the green LED and the long voice for success and then you can verify the next one is can't verification successfully on the FR 1200 so the voice from the FR 1200 the four voices represent with LED will represent the the communication between the FR 1200 and MA 500 is a field and two voice with a red LED means the communication is okay but the verification is field or or the you have no this fingerprint on the MA 500 so on this if your customers have enrolled have registered their fingerprint on the M or in the MA 500 so you can set the verification of FR1200 you can use the access 3.5 at this indoor setting verify mode you must choose this mode because the FR, FR1200 has no the password function it just only support the car or the fingerprint so you must choose like this I think uh, that will be okay and and do like this okay that will be okay the next one the fingerprint sense is it's not work anymore uh, when I replace another one this is good but after several weeks it's no it's no work again uh, I encounter this problem when this customers use the MA500 in the low temperature with the moist so you must know the the device is affected with the water with the damp so when when we so when we encounter these problems we made the gloom on the back uh, back cover to pretend the water entered inside in the MA500 so from the May May 1st, uh, 2014, we just changed the, the modified craft to do the completely no water enter the inside. So we'll promise you, if you just bought the MA500 after the, the May 1st, 2014, the link proofness is okay. Okay. The last one, I think is fear in unlock. This is also common problems because the some places, foreign local place, the voltage is is not sta stable. Yeah, it's not stable. So in you can see this, uh, the main board, such like this. There are two relay with a white color rectangle. White color rectangle. The the right relay is the lock relay. When we press our fingerprint or punch my card, we will trigger this lock relay to open the lock. So you will hear a, a voice when you press your your fingerprint or punch your card you can listen carefully that is open the voice from the 
from the relay, open voice. I encountered a problem before, just uh, the customer used our MA500 to connect a lock and he en enrolled a user, a valid user in MA500 with a valid time and period. Everything is okay. And he also press your finger in the fingerprint sensor. The verification is passed, it's valid, it's no problem. And he also is also hear a voice from the lock relay. But the lock is no reaction. The lock is still closed. So what happened? So we <laughs> We also spend a lot of time to discuss with these problems with our engineer. And finally, we find the, the forfeits. This is a forfeit for use, so broken, broken down, yes, for use is broken down. The for use, uh, I remember at that time situation, the for use is uh, it's broke down and burning out because the, the daily voltage in that the foreign local area is not stable to cost like this for you. So next time if you if your customers buy a this MA five hundred and encounter these problems, you need to dismantle the back cover of MA five hundred and check check in this for you for you. The last question is the MA500. Yes, it's, it's useful in the pin. So you can tell that you can pin, but <clears throat> Every, everybody should know this. If you can pin the device, it means the device is on your local area network. And that's great. But the reason why the MA hundred MA five hundred cannot connect the software is connect the access three point five because the protocol, the communication protocol is unused. The function of a poor SDK just connect the the software and the device. It's a bridge to connect this MA five hundred and access three point five. So we'd better to check the software version on the customers because our latest access 3.5 version is 2189. Pro SDK version is 2.2.0.118. Standalone SDK, the version is 6.2.5.7. So if you check this is if the customers the access 3.5 software is older, so you can you can replace another one. I think the 100 percent you can solve these problems. Yeah, if there's still some problems, you can connect with our customers. And the next one is the question time for you. I will give you maybe uh, the five to ten minutes to ask any question you like. You can. Uh, shows your hands up. Don't hesitate to ask me question. Okay. In this training lesson, I want to uh, re I want to do a result. Just through our this lesson, I want to uh, give you the help to let you to improve your help problem solving skills. If the foreign local the colleague have a strong problem solving skills the more and more problems will be solved in the local places that's why i'm trying to to do this lesson and that's why we want to uh, get together to improve for ourselves to do a great effort for this lesson so thank you for your attention goodbye